it here at Scout Pond Engraver Arboretum and we put five big cages out made of window screen mesh and PVC pipe and then inside we put five uh, predator cages so we have crayfish, um, annex, dragonfly larvae, and labellidae and uh, dragonfly larvae. And then we put them out for two to three days with a bunch of leaf matter. We basically count how many isopods are in each of the leaf packs to see if there's a difference between isopod density within different predators to see if they respond to predator cues. So I'm looking to see if there's a predator-prey interaction. If the predators are giving off some kind of smell, we're hoping isopods respond to and say, hey, I smell that some of the dead of my species are coming from that animal, I'm gonna stay away from that animal. It doesn't look like they are, um, but that's what we're trying to prove or disprove or see what happens. Mm -hmm.